Okay, dynamite. As you can hear, my throat, my voice sounds rancy or whatever you want to call it. It's allergies. I'm all right. I just got bad allergies, even with medicine. So um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible, and I'm probably going to glaze over a lot of stuff. But I'm going to tell you generally what I thought about the show and what came out. The opening with the pillars was a good thing. The person who spoke the best was Darby Al. The one who wanted to make everything about him was a little bit of MGF, as usual. Later, we got a little bit of a deal when it came to Sammy Guevara and MGF where the payoff happened. Supposedly, if Sammy's willing to play ball, he will be in the main event of Double or Nothing. He will be in the main event. Let, let, let me give it to you like that. If he lays down and does a finger poke of doom, <coughs> he will get a good payoff. And he asks for a lot of money. So, that's what we get for the setup for the pillars. Now, first match, I still don't feel anything from the outcast or the OGs. I don't because one, there's not enough women. And two, at least until later in the night, it didn't mean anything. So the faces were there, which was Britt as well as a Jamie Hayter. I didn't know why Britt and Jamie had to win there. The, the, pretty much the outcasts really need to win. Not until later to understand. Warlow versus Powerhouse Hobbs. I don't get it. <clears throat> this is so stupid. What was the point of letting... Powerhouse looked so good where he had QT TV and it was getting over. You decide to make him drop the freaking title back to Warlow. So now you're going to have Christian Cage and Luchasaurus who should have been over quite a long time ago. But was buried either because he was hurt or because they thought they didn't need to do anything with Luchasaurus. Because they wanted to build her up Jungle Boy to keep going. <coughs> They let him win the damn title. Now the new challenger, Luchasaurus, comes in when they could have done Powerhouse Hobbs. I'm sorry. No. No. It's stupid. I am not happy about Luchasaurus now going to be either sacrificed to a Warlow or maybe may win against Warlow and then gets another hot potatoed Guys, we've just, how many months has it been with how many different title changes? Within four or five months, how many title changes have we had? It's like Tony is manic. He can't decide what he wants. Am I'm glad to see Warlow get the title back? No, he didn't need it. He could have been moved on to the main title scene where he should be. Or move him to RH to give him something new to do. No, you let him go after the TNT title again, you let him win it, and now he goes up with Luchasaurus where he will possibly get buried, or if he wins, it makes no difference because the damn title has been switched around so much, it doesn't have anything behind it. Now, we got Jay White versus Commander. <laughs> this was not about Commander. This was about a Sean Spears. Holding up cards. Rating Commander and Jay White. I actually am interested in this. Sean Spears has been reset as somewhat of a semi-face. I think he still is the old Sean Spears. The chairman, I believe. But at least he's not as much. And if he's doing something with Jay White, I'm kind of alright with it. In the end, you do, you, you do get him winning. And that is Jay White. I'm not surprised. I don't think they're going to let Commander job make Jay White job. I just don't, <coughs> don't see it. But then we get a beatdown and we get Ricky coming in to lend a, let, lend a hand to Sean Spears. I'm, I'm all right with that. But the question is, where would it go with it? Now that it's all right. Is this the Bullet Club or just Jay White with a Juice Robinson? I don't know. 
There was no sighting of someone with Joe on the show, which I kind of wish there was. That's just me. We got the JAS versus the Acclaim. If the Acclaim lost, they joined the JAS. I believe they're only supposed to join them up to the pay-per-view, but they would have joined them. I got a little confused because they kept saying they said that, that they would join up to the up to the pay-per-view. But then they said it would just be kind of sound like it was permanent. I'm not sure. But the Acclaim didn't win. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I'm a little distracted. The Acclaim didn't lose. But maybe you should have saved this for the pay-per-view. Since you've been setting it up for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. That's just me, you guys. Tell me below. Um, let me give it to you like this. Seeing that they did something with Chris and Adam Cole was interesting. The question is, how far are they going to let Adam Cole go? Especially after recovering from two really nasty um, concussions. Now, I'm not saying he's hurt anymore. He probably is fine. But how are they going to structure the match around his concussions to give him as much sympathy as possible for him to overcome his possible fear that if he gets whacked on the head just right, he's done again. How are they going to book it? Because look how far they went. They <clears throat> they used his own wife. Now, mind you, this hasn't been... It's the first time they haven't done this. They've done it in WWE. They've done it in Impact Wrestling. Now AEW finally has done it. Where they basically handcuffed a, a partner of somebody. Maybe a tag team partner. In this case, his wife. And basically beat her ass with a kendo stick. And that was Soraya who did it. Fine. How far are they going to go with it? And is the outcast now getting backed up by the JAS? And maybe, just maybe, we have Chris Jericho in their corner. I'm hoping for that because the outcast needs something. They need something. Let it be Chris Jericho. I don't care if Chris becomes their, their manager for a little while. The JAS can spare a little bit of Chris. For the outcast because they got nothing for the women. I'm sorry, there's nothing there. I'm just saying. Um Mark Briscoe got attacked. And now you got Lethal and uh, I don't know where we're gonna go with this when it comes to Mark dealing with uh with the FTR and the Lethal King the Lethal and and Double J tag team. I don't know where they're gonna go with it. Are they going to try and convince which one he should be with? Either the FTR or J and Double J. I don't know which one. Hopefully they will book it correctly. Finally. <coughs> oh, my throat's bothering me. Finally, the match that we were waiting for. Now, that's supposed to be a tournament match. Which was set up by the Pillars. Whoever wins this match is going up against Darby Allen, who got a pass. Whoever beats Darby or loses to Darby will become the number one contender going into the pay-per-view to deal with the MGF. That's where the payoff happened for Sammy Guevara. Good match. There's nothing wrong with Sammy and Jay and Jungle Boy dealing with each other. I never thought they had bad matches. But once you get MJF punching Jungle Boy in the face, he's done. He got counted out. And now Sammy moves on to a Darby Allen. Everyone's speculating how. How is Darby going to survive this? It's going to be a big question. How far are they going to go with this? Possible. Possible. I would laugh my ass off. I'm saying it right now. I know they won't go there. But would it be freaking stupid and funny at the same time? Sammy wins. And instead of be backstabbing a MGF, he actually goes through with it. Does the finger poke of doom, lay sprawled, and then does the count out. The count. That's what I'm hoping for. Because everyone's going to think Sammy's going to betray him. And then will not let him just beat him. I want to see him do it. I know it's stupid. But I want to see Sammy Guevara make it to the end all the way to double nothing, I believe double nothing. And when they're going to have the match, 
MJF walks up to him and says, are you ready? He says, I'm ready. Poke, splat. One, two, three. The match is over. 100%. And Tony Khan comes out angry. And then they do something you wouldn't expect. Maybe a surprise person coming out. Maybe a, for the Brooks, a CM Punk coming out to try and reclaim his title. And that will piss everybody off even more, which will make it even more interesting. That's just me. I'm sorry this is a bit short. My throat is not <coughs> not doing so well because of the trees. I My eyes are itching like crazy. They are so itchy. Ah, peace.